Oh, don't worry. I already know everything and it doesn't make any difference. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm sure you were very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What? No apologies, no explanations. I'll only be in town a short while. And, well, the sadder but wiser girl for me. Will you please make your selection and leave? Oh, I have. Well, what do you want to take out? The librarian. Shh. Quiet, please. The librarian. You're not listening to me, Marion. Look. Marion. Marbles. Six Steelies, eight Aggies, a dozen Peewees, and one big glassy with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop them. No! Madam Librarian. What can I do, my dear, to catch your ear? I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer hose brigademan had to whisper the news to Marion. Madam Librarian What can I say, my dear, to make it clear? I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian Marion, if I stumbled and I busted my whatchamacallit I could lie on your floor unnoticed Till my body had turned to care Madam Librarian Now in the moonlight A man could sing it In the moonlight And a fellow would know that his darling Had heard every word of his song With the moonlight Helping along But when I try in here to tell you, dear I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian Marion, it's a long lost cause I could never win For the civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin Any talking out loud with any librarian Such as Mary Librarian. But when I try in here to tell you, dear, I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause I could never win. For the civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin any talking out loud with any librarian, such as Marion. Ladies Dance Committee meets Tuesday nights. Madam Librarian. Marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs>